people come to me, Pastor, I say, you know, I go to people and I talk to a few people. I say, you know, if you just be thankful, praise the Lord. They say, I'm down, I'm discouraged, I'm broke, I've got nothing to thank God for. How can I praise the Lord? Why should I give him praise? Why should I praise him? But Jason wrote a song. Sometimes they say, you took more from me than you give. Why should I bless you? Why should I praise you? Psalms 101. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know you that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. As you, as you ride down this road today, enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. For the Lord is good, and his truth endureth to all generations. For the Lord is good. Even doctors and psychiatrists, they figured out that thankfulness improves relationship. Thankfulness creates contentment. Thankfulness, it, it just does something to your spirit. It, it, it's a release. Thanks, thankfulness will help you remain healthy. Being thankful, it, it'll, it'll cultivate hum, humility. Being thankful. It, being thankful is contagious. You get around grumpy people, you get grumpy. You get around somebody's thankful, it makes you want to be thankful. Hallelujah. Thankfulness, it produces is just a positive attitude inside of you. When we're thankful, it, the byproduct that becomes more positive toward people, there are endless daily things to annoy you. Thankfulness promotes generosity. If you're not thankful, you don't want to be kind to anybody. It's tough to be a giver when our eyes are always on our own needs. Uh, thankfulness, thankfulness increases likability. People will like you if you're thankful. Thankfulness plays God's character in you. It will show the very character of God inside of your life just simply being thankful being thankful keeps our heart in the right position toward God when we are ungrateful it keeps us from seeing God as he is our hearts become bitter and this would greatly affect our relationship with God and with others we may start to pray less read our Bibles less or reach out to the Lord less worship less this is very dangerous and needs to be addressed as soon as we recognize our relationship with God has shifted being thankful and the ungrateful heart also makes us think we've achieved everything on our own and forget about all the good things God has done in our life when you're ungrateful you feel like you've done it and you forget the mercy of God being thankful help us to see how gracious and loving and kind God is we need to take the time to pause reflect and count our blessings you don't have everything you want in your life but God has given you so much there are things that you have that people are praying for everybody in this room there are things that you have that somewhere in the world people are praying and they would like it would be a blessing and be a life changer if they have what you have hallelujah 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 the fact the fact that Jesus died for us if we acknowledge him the one and surrender our lives to him we can enjoy and rest in him I, 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 I just want to have a meeting to encourage us, stir us to praise the Lord. Uh, one, one, and I'm working on this, is to every morning when you wake up, think about some blessings that you have. Yeah, a, a, a car, food, water, a wife, a husband, kids, baby, family, church. Uh, I, 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 was, I was in Haiti. They wanted shoes. They wanted clothes. They wanted friends. They wanted food, just something to eat. They wanted a job. Uh, uh, they work a long time just for a quarter over there. This will keep creating a thankful heart, and you'll be able to experience the joy. James James one seventeen. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of heavenly lights, who does not change nor nor whom there's no variableness. Hallelujah. Every good and perfect gift comes down from the Lord. Colossians 3.15. And let the peace of God rule in your heart, to the which also you're called in one body, and be ye thankful. And be ye thankful. And be ye thankful. And be ye thankful. Somebody, somebody that's just having it hard. Somebody's facing a lot of sickness. Somebody's just lost a loved one. Somebody's having it hard financially. Somebody 
your home's falling apart. And the devil's telling you you got nothing to be thankful for. Time you leave this service, I'm going to give you an opportunity to reach into three worlds and find something to be thankful for. The first one is the past, that world back there. There's something back there you ought to be thankful for. The second one is right now. If, if you woke up, you ought to be thankful. If you were able to dress yourself, you ought to be thankful. If you had a desire to come to the house of God, you ought to. I know our loads are heavy, but some were, hallelujah. And then that third world, hallelujah, right ahead of us. That world we've not touched nor seen yet. There's some things in it we can be thankful for. Let's look into that past world. You, you ought to be thankful because you have the opportunity to get saved. If there's any, if the Lord allow me tonight, I want to I want to preach a, a if you if you you're struggling with your relationship with the Lord or you know anybody lost or anybody who's considering looking back, would you come? We don't preach on hell much. I, I, if the Lord allow me tonight, if he don't change my direction. So please bring somebody or come tonight. But you ought to be thankful because you had the opportunity to get saved. You ought to be thankful. You ought to be thankful. You ought to be thankful. Jerry Stevens, I could go to any row in here, but you could have left this world in any one of those five total vehicles. But somewhere, hallelujah, he brought you out of total wreck after total wreck after total wreck to hear a little preacher preach one more night with the frogs and you gloriously got somebody ought to thank you ought to reach back in that world tell the devil I may be struggling now but I'm going to reach back I got saved hallelujah I got saved I, I, I got delivered I got a lot of stuff broke off of me I got set free I got a new beginning if it hadn't have been, you would reach back a little further. How'd you get saved? Because of the shedding of his precious blood. And if it hadn't been for his amazing love, you ought to reach back a little further. Holly, sure, Isaiah 53, 4, surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace is upon him and with his stripes we are healed. Somebody ought to reach back. I got something back there to thank him for. He loved me when I was a mess. He loved me. He loved me while I was yet a sinner. He loved me when I was in the depths of, of hopelessness. He loved you and I. Somebody ought to thank him. You ought to reach back and thank him. He kept me. He kept you from taking an overdose. He kept you from taking your life. He kept somebody ought to thank him out loud. He kept you. He kept you from doing. He kept you from killing somebody and spending the rest of your life. He kept you. He kept highly. Somebody ought to thank him. You ought to thank him for what he's kept you from. You ought to thank him for stories you don't talk about. You ought to thank him for miracles that others don't know about. Somebody ought to hallelujah 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 if we'll get a thankful heart back we'll pack this out up here because when you're thankful you want to praise him when you're thankful you want to worship him when you want to thankful you realize it's because of his grace and his mercy and his goodness and his kindness he kept me he told jeremiah jeremiah 1 and 5 before i formed thee in the belly i knew thee and before thou came forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. He spared us. He spared us. Sheila, Sheila and I, Jerry, some of your folk live down there around Cummins, Georgia. We're, we got a meeting down there. And things happen here. And we leave late. And we're going down there. And as we go between Ella J and Cummins, three different times, Sheila's driving. I'm rereading my, my sermon. Sheila's driving three different times. A car comes around a curve in the middle of the road, and he spared us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Has anybody in the house ever been spared? Has anybody ever been spared? Have you ever, has anybody, could anybody thank him for his mercy? I just come back to thank you, Lord. I, I come back to thank you for little things I take. I'm reaching back in my past. I, I could have given up. I could have quit. But somehow you picked me up. Somehow when it looked like I could go, oh, Father, you encouraged me. His love and mercy. Somebody reach back. His love and mercy through your life, through your childhood through school, through your job, through your marriage. Can I can hear our, our team singing? You ought to thank him because he came looking for you. Hallelujah. 
When you couldn't get to him, he got to you, Romans 5, 8. But God commanded his love toward us. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God commended his love. Paul, Paul wrote this in Philippians 1 and 3. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you. He said, I thank God for each of you. Would, you. would you turn around and tell somebody, I thank the Lord for you. Would you do it all over this building? Would you, I just thank the Lord. I don't, I don't say it out loud enough to you, but I want you to know you're important, and I thank the Lord for you. I thank the Lord for you. Maybe I thank the Lord for you. Church, I thank the Lord for you. Paul said, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine for you all making requests with joy for your, shel- for, your, for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day. He's reaching back, and now I'm thankful back there, but until now, and I'm thankful now. Did you hear that? <laughs> Hallelujah. From the first day until now. So let's move. That's world number one. Let's go to now. Somebody say now. Lord, I thank you for what you're doing right now. Lord, I thank you for what you're doing right now. Could, could, we, just, could we just pause every little bit and have church a little bit? With somebody, hallelujah. A lot of just, just thank you for what you're doing right now. I just thank you for what you're doing right now. Hallelujah. I'm breathing. I thank you for what you're doing right now. I, I can see. I thank you for what you're doing right now. I can walk. I can talk. I got my right mind. I, I, I got food on my table, peace in my mind. Hallelujah. I thank you for what you're doing right now. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 6 and 2, for he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I scored thee, and thou forth is accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Lord, I thank you for what you're doing right now. Somebody could get saved today. I thank you for what you're doing right now. Somebody could get a new beginning today. I thank you for what you're doing right now. Almost every week we've had one or two saved for almost a month. Lord, you could do it again. I thank you for what you're doing right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got the past, the present, the future. Hallelujah. As we stand here, my, 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 my future becomes my present. My present becomes my past. My now soon becomes my yesterday. Too often in life, our minds want to dwell on the negative, what we are missing, what we did wrong, how far we are from our goals, how much we've lost, how much we need. But it will strengthen you Science say that people that are gratitude, they have better health, they feel less lonely, they're much happier relationships, they have better hearts, they, they, they just have a better, healthier rhythm just, just by being thankful. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I just stop and say to everybody, I thank the Lord for babe or my wife. I call her babe. You better call her Sheila. Don't you call her babe. I thank the Lord for little Sheila. I, 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 she loves me when I'm unlovable. Quite often. She ought to, we need to stop and give this girl a hand clap. She, she holds me when I can no longer do it myself, dries my tears, and helps me through the pain of life. I love you, babe. Her wonderful sense of humor. And she's, a, she's funny. She don't always get her jokes right, but she's funny. <laughs> Sometimes that's the funny part. <laughs> no, now let me retell it. <laughs> I just feel thankful today. I just feel thankful today. I just, it would be easy for me to preach this when everything, when my life's smooth and everything's going good. It'd be so easy. It'd be so easy. But the Lord gave me this Thursday, about the middle of the day, I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, would you allow me to preach something else? And he let me know. But yesterday, my, my precious wife, her little mother, fell. She broke both legs. We sat in the hospital yesterday. Her, her, her little daddy, just so overwhelmed by this, was missing for about 20 hours. And we didn't know. I don't care how sanctified you get, how much you pray, how much you fast. You slow down. All these people, what if we find him here? What if this? What if this? Anybody be honest? But I've come back to say, thank you, Lord. We found this precious man, and everything's okay. Hallelujah. I've come back to say, thank you. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're not in a good season right now, but we're in a good place because we're in his hand. Everything's not going good right now, but we're in a good place. We're in the hand of the Lord. And I refuse, I refuse to let my circumstance control my thankfulness. I re- I feel a strength. I wish somebody would stand to your feet and shake yourself and make up your mind. I'm tired of my circumstance controlling my thankfulness. I'm tired. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to praise him out loud. The stories we don't talk about, but God's been, I wish I had a worshiper at Miracle Deliverance Tabernacle. Anybody can be thankful when you got food on your table, money in your pocket, friends around you, but it really moves God when your world's shaking and you say, I'm still thankful. It really moves God when you cry cried all night and you say, the devil is a liar. I'm going to reach back and I'm going to thank him for a hill called Calvary. I'm going to thank him for his amazing love. I'm going to thank him he don't change. I'm going to thank him because because he's always the same. I'm going to thank him because he's the living bread. I'm going to thank him because he's my water. I'm going to thank him because he's my way maker. I'm not going to thank him because of my circumstance. My circumstance changed. I'm going to thank him because he's a God in whom there's no variableness, neither shadow of turning. He is always the same. I'll go ahead and praise him. We can do better than that miracle deliverance tabernacle. He's more worthy than that. We can beat that. Hallelujah. He woke you up. We can beat that. We can praise him. Hallelujah. 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 Depression can't hang around when you're thankful. Discouragement can't hang around when you're thankful. Gossip can't hang around when you're thankful. How the enemy can't hang around when you're thankful. Sickness has to start turning when you walk in thankfulness. Victory returns when you're thankful. Peace takes over when you're thankful. Oh, go ahead and give him a praise. Go ahead. Go ahead, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fine. Fine. Hallelujah. Fine to get your thankfulness back. I remember a kid back in the 60s over at Bertie Green's and her husband watching wrestling. Tojo. Now, what was it? That's it. They had him pinned down. And I, I must have been six years old. I had pinned down one, two, and he got that shoulder up. And somebody here has been pinned down in the devil's count one and two. You'll not be thankful. Somebody get that shoulder up. Say, I'm going to get my thankfulness back. Somebody get that shoulder up off the mat. Say, the devil's a liar. I'm going to be thankful. Yes, my load's heavy, but this is not heaven. Yes, I'm facing storms, but this is not heaven. Yes, the battle's raging, but I'm going to a city where the roses never fade. I'm going to a country where there's no need for the sun or the moon there, for he's a light of that city. I'm going to home one day. We're pilgrims here. We're strangers here. This is our dressing room. This is our getting ready. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But don't be a, just a survivor. Be an overcomer. Walk in victory. Walk in peace. Put the storm under your feet. Tell the devil, I'm going to be thankful to the Almighty. I will bless the Lord. I will exalt the Lord. I will magnify the Lord. I will give glory to the Lord. I will we appreciate the Lord. Carmela, you preach this better than me if your little mama we love so dearly can lay in that bed with the cancer report and say, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Ain't nobody in this room got an excuse. I'm not through preaching, but would you stand to your feet? Would you just tell him out loud, thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Would say, hey, all over this room, would you just do it? Would you just say, hey, just say thank you for loving me. I've not always been lovable. I've not always been likable. And I've not always been grateful, but you just wouldn't give up on me. You kept pulling on me, and I'd pull back. You kept, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. If you'd help me, we could have old-fashioned, old-school church for about an hour. If somebody would help me. 
If somebody would help me right now. There's a glory wanting to break out in here. Somebody help me. There's an anointing of thankfulness wanting to fall in here. If somebody would help me. There's a, hey, hey, I feel an old ghost school, old fashioned Holy Ghost glory in here that would heal the broken hearted. I feel an anointing that would set captive free. I feel an anointing that would turn doctors report. I feel an anointing that would give you favor with judges. I, I feel a presence of God that would change lives. I feel a glory if you would help me. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Somebody fight for your thankfulness. We don't have everything we want, may not have everything we need, but there's countries that don't know where their next meal's coming from. There's countries that's sickness and they can't get to a doctor. There's countries, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God forgive me for grumbling when you've been so good to me. God forgive me for grumbling when you've been so good to me. God forgive me for not appreciating. Oh, go ahead, friend. Something's moving in this house. I wish you'd listen your hands and tell him I want to be thankful again would somebody tell him out loud I want to be thankful again I want to be thankful again I want to be thankful again if you would somebody remain standing and help me hallelujah 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 so we thank him for that past world for this present world let's look into the future I want to thank you for what you're going to do hallelujah I just stand confident tonight I don't know what the government's going to do I don't know I don't know how if they're going to empty the, the, the grocery stores at Walmart and buy a load in Food City I just know one thing you and I were not going hungry because we got a good shepherd. We've got a good shepherd. I'm going to thank him. I'm not going to I'm not going to have a breakdown. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm going to rest in the Lord. I'm going to trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I wish somebody praise him out loud. I wish somebody shake fear off. You're going to take care of my family. You're going to make a way for me. You'll let a deer walk up in my yard. Hallelujah. You'll let the you'll let the you'll let the winds blow and turn and they'll fall in my yard. You'll make a way where there seemeth to be no way. When the enemy comes in like a flood, you're going to raise up a standard. I'm not going under. I'm not going to starve. I'm not, I'm not going to lose. I'm not going to be forsaken. He didn't bring me this far to let me go. He didn't start a work in you to throw you away. He's the creator. He's a provider. He's king of kings. He's lord of lords. He's the lily of the valley. I'll shake fear off today. Shake it off today. He's going to take away for you. He's going to help you. He's going to sustain you. He's going to carry you. He's going to put every enemy under your feet. Oh, go ahead and go ahead. Hallelujah. But my God. Philippians 4, 19, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Would you get a hold of somebody's hand? Say thank him for blessings that's coming your way. Hallelujah. I wish you'd do that. I wish you'd touch somebody. Tell them thank you for blessings that's coming your way. Why is the enemy fighting you so hard? Because blessings are coming your way. Why is the enemy trying to get you to quit? Because blessings are coming your way. Why is the enemy trying to get you to throw in the towel? Because blessings are coming your way. I said blessings. Blessings are coming your way. Blessings are coming your way. Hallelujah. I feel the Lord in here. Blessings are coming your way. Hallelujah. Don't stress out. Don't give up. Blessings are coming your way. Don't try to figure it out. Blessings are coming your way. Don't lay awake in bed and cry. Worship. Blessings are coming your way. Blessings are coming your way. Blessings. Blessings are coming your way. Blessings are coming your way. Ain't no way I'll go hungry. Stephen called me the other night. He said, where you at, Brother Wynn? He said, you got a yard full of cows. Friend, you ain't going under. God's going to move for you. God going to make a way for you. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Long as I got a friend named Frank, I'll have me a T-bone and a loaf of bread. Somehow God's going to move for you, and I feel a confidence in here tonight. I feel a faith in here right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody's been worried about your finances, and I don't preach much on this, but I feel total victory right now. Why don't you tell that storm in your face? You hang around and watch God make a way for me. You hang around and watch me pay every bill. You watch, you watch God bring me out of this. You watch God restore me. You watch God give back every tank that the enemy stole. He said he'd restore back the locusts and the canker worm and the caterpillar, that great army. He said he'd restore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He give Job double for his trouble. Give him back to what, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm thanking him for what he's going to do. I thank, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Anybody can thank him when you're laughing and you feel good. Hallelujah, the devil's taking a beat. They some folk cried last night. And we're in this church worshiping the Lord and praising the Lord. Oh, go ahead. Help me have church today. I'm going to thank him for the future he's going to provide for you. But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I'm going to thank him. You're going to return from me. You're coming back for me. He, hallelujah. Acts 111, which also said, you man of Galilee, why stand you gazing up into this hell, into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven, even return. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody to go ahead. Lord, you're coming back for me. I won't always be laughed at and cursed and mauled. Won't always have to fight devils. You're coming back. Won't always walk through valley. You're somebody ought to pray. He's literally coming back. Jesus is going to return. Let the mockers mock. Jesus is going to return. Let them laugh at our religion. Hallelujah. Buddha's not coming back as a king. Muhammad's not coming back as a king. And they're coming back to be judged. But Jesus is coming back. King of kings and Lord of lords. He's returning. I said Jesus is going to return. Jesus is going to return. Jesus is going to return. Even when you don't understand what you're facing, and we know that all things work together for the good to them that love the Lord, who are the called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. The Lord shall descend from heaven with a shout. So, will somebody praise him? He's going to come back. Can we? I mean the Lord himself. Jerry, the Lord himself, he's going to descend from heaven with a shout. He's not sneaking in. He's coming with a shout. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. I, I went, down, went down Friday night, probably stayed in there at my mother's grave. And... Uh, Mr. Grave, you won't always have our family. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, in the last trumpet, for the trumpet of God shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. When my mama comes out, she'll have no dementia. When my mama comes out, she won't have no blood clot from her hip to her ankle. When my mama comes out, she won't have no storms to fight. She won't have no devils to fight. When my mama comes out, she won't have a body that'll ever get sick. She'll have a glorified body. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to praise him. That grave is not our final abode. Hallelujah. 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 When my sister, when my little sister Sheila comes out of that grave, she won't have breast cancer. When Sheila comes out of that grave, hallelujah. Somebody ought to praise him out loud. You've got something to look forward to. Hallelujah. I don't care what you're going to. You ought to break out into praise right now. Oh, grave, where's your victory? Oh, death, where is your stake? Hallelujah. Somebody please praise him. 
I want to leave the 99 and I want to speak to you. Daughter, I want to speak to you. Sir, I want to speak to you. Psalms 34, 9 and 10. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The strongest, the king of the jungle, the young lions do like and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Would everybody say this out loud? And it, it, would you just, would you just, 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 just respect me? Say that. Say, look here, devil, where I'm at. I'm at church. Would somebody say that real loud? Look, devil, where I'm at, I'm at church. I'm at church because I fear the Lord. I'm at church because you're not my master anymore. I'm at church because I'm not following you anymore. I'm at church because you're not my leader anymore. I'm at church because I have rejected you. I'm at church because I have resisted you. I have at church because I have told you you're not my father. You're not my leader. You're not my God. You will not destroy my life, my mind, and my family, and my soul. So I'm in church because I fell in love with Jesus. I'm in church because I'm on my way to heaven. I'm in church because I found a new beginning. I'm in church because I found a fresh start. I'm in church because I felt the lover of my soul. I'm in church because I felt the lily of my valley. I'm in church because I have tasted of the Prince of Peace. I've seen the Rose of Sharon. I've held the Good Shepherd. I think Mike and Jesse's teaching Sunday school. John's at work. But I have a room full of children. I'm thinking the Lord in the future, sons and daughters, the Lord's going to take care of you. Maybe our children and those that God's give us, God's going to take care of you. God's going to take care of you. Proverbs 17, 6. Chil Listen to this. He's even going to take care of our grandchildren. Children's children are the crown of the old man. And the glory of the children are their fathers. Hallelujah. 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 For which cause also suffer these things. For the, nevertheless, I am not ashamed. For I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded he's able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Hallelujah. 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 I need you all over this room to join hands with one person. Everybody that will all over this room join hands hallelujah just just pray harder you prayed a long time lord stir up an anointing of thankfulness let an anointing a gratitude of thankfulness a gratitude of appreciation hallelujah hallelujah lord we write down what disappoints us what hurts us what wounds us but god we got i got so much to thank you for i've got so much to thank you for lord i've got i'm surrounded by friends that support us and love us i'm surrounded by people that pray for me Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My name's written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. My sins are forgiven. My, my transgressions have been blotted out, cast into the sea of forgetfulness, never to be remembered again. Hallelujah. I need at least 10 more people that will slip out of your seat and stand in these altars. Lift your hands. Would you come back to the music? Hallelujah. 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 Need you to lift your hands up and say, Lord, I, I'm coming back to say thank you. I'm coming back. There's food on my table. I remember when I struggled to get a meal, Lord. I've come back to say thank you. I remember when I didn't have a bed to sleep in. I've come back to say thank you. I remember when I didn't have my right mind. I've come back to say thank you. I remember when I was lost. I'm saved now. I've come back to say thank you. I feel nothing but victory in this room. I feel strength in this room. I feel deliverance in this room. I feel unity in this room. I feel peace that passes all understanding. I feel the way maker in this room. I feel the chain breaker in this room. I feel the lily of the valley in this room. I feel the prince of peace. He's in this room today. I would plead with you all over this room. Would you lift your hands? Just, just say thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you. Thank you for loving me. Thank you. All over this room would we do it. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. You who know the worst about me loves me the most. There's no secret hid from you and you just keep loving me. You know my, you know my strengths, my weaknesses, my uprising, my down sitting, and you just keep on loving me. I'd have thrown me away. I'd have given up on me. I'd have let me go, but you just kept on loving me. Thank you.